joining us from Australia is Charitha Patiarachi. He is a professor of coastal oceanography at the University of Western Australia. Welcome to the programme. It's coming up to the second year anniversary since the MH370 disappeared. And despite extensive searches of the southern Indian Ocean and the South China Sea, the only trace of the plane that was found ashore was on the French island of Reunion. How likely is it that we're ever going to be able to find out what's happened to the plane? Um, well, I mean, based on lots of different evidence, they have narrowed down the area that they have been looking using three or four ships for the last two or three, um, well, last, uh, you know, two years or so. Um, but it is likely that we may not ever find it because a uh, lot of the information that we have is based on a very small number of uh, exact information. So we can only guess where it could be and it is possible that we may actually uh, miss it. Uh, remember that uh, that area that they're looking at is about 4,000 meters deep, and it's a very large area that they're looking at. It is a bit like searching for a needle in a haystack. You've been helping investigators with mapping of the ocean. What sort of things have you been advising them of? Um, we haven't been mapping as such. What we have been doing is uh, using oceanographic models to try to predict where the debris would end up in. So even before, well, around 12 months before the Flaperon ended up on Reunion Island, we were actually saying and predicting that that part of the ocean is where the debris would end up in. So this recent finding that it came from Mozambique is exactly in line with our findings and the predictions. The ocean obviously has a lot of currents running through it. What are the biggest challenges that investigators face? The, the biggest uh, challenges is, is, is really to have sufficient information to be able to pinpoint where the plane may have come down. And, and that's what is the, the biggest challenge. So as oceanographers, we can provide some information about where the debris may have come from uh, and, and, and where it may end up. But the problem is, is that we, we can't pinpoint exactly where it could be. Okay, Charitha Pasharachi, thank you so much for joining us.